Hi guys and welcome back to That Office Guy. Today we are taking a look at the choose function, a pretty useful function if you wanted to have some kind of randomization effect within some of your lists. Um, so pretty useful. There are some unique use cases where this one might be useful for you guys. So as we get into this, if you do find it useful and informative, hit the like button. I really do appreciate that. If you are new, make sure you subscribe and uh, you won't miss any more hints and tips that we have here for Microsoft Excel. Right, with that said, done out of the way, let's jump on down into the desktop and start taking a look at how to use this function and why it is so very useful. Okay, guys, we're going to start things off uh, with a couple of examples here. Okay, so we have example one and example two, and we're going to start things here. So we can see we've got a list in the left hand side, this table just over here. Now we have a, a list of data and a list of names, right? First, second, third, finished, right? And then a list of uh, names just down the side. Now, um, what we want to do is we're going to have a look at some of these formulas that we have here. So there's three examples that we're going to use. And um, the first one here, basically, it just brings back the, the value of the second list uh, argument. Um, so basically the value of a3 okay so basically this one just here um, and the way that this works is quite simple if we actually come into our formula here we can see that there are several parts the first part which we actually have number two is the index number okay as in we want the second uh, choice out of our list okay and then we have value one value two value three and value four okay now we do have to have these separated by a comma Okay, so we need to be know which one we we'll, uh, we'll like to return. And then obviously we're just using the number, index number to return the second uh, from the list here. So that'd be A2. Okay, so this is a, the most basic way that you can create this formula. And obviously you can see the result comes back as second. Okay, so um, choose the second is uh, the second choice. Uh, okay, then you have a list of all of your options. But we can go a little bit further and say, okay, we'll bring back the, the value of the fourth list argument. Um, and obviously that would be B5. Okay, which should be all the way down here. So as you see this time, if we come into our formula, we see we have the number four. We then have choice one, choice two, choice three, and choice four. Okay, and uh, basically we want to bring back the very last choice, which would be B5. Um, so basically that's all it's going to return, uh, the word bolts. Okay, so quite straightforward and pretty easy to use. The third example here basically is very much the same. This time we are taking a look at something slightly differently. Uh, and this in the terms of we want the third option, but we are using words as well as numbers. Okay. Um, so there's no cell references on this particular occasion. Instead, we want the index, the third choice. Okay. The third item. Uh, the first one is the word wild. The second one is a value of a 115. The uh, third value is world in double quotations, meaning text. And then the fourth value is the number eight. Okay, so there's a total of one, two, three, and four um, values here. Okay, with two of these being wrapped inside double quotations, meaning that they are text. So overall, there are basically four choices, and we want to bring back the third choice. Okay, so in doing so, that actually brings back the uh, the word world. Okay, it's so quite straightforward and very easy to use, but not very dynamic in the way that they actually work. But there are some use cases and where you might find this incredibly useful and powerful, and it's very easy to actually use this function. When we jump down into example two, we start to have a you know a slightly different way of actually utilizing this function, right? And um, so here in, the, in this example, we're going to summarize um, basically you know between these values. So. Um, when we jump into this formula, we can see that we have our cho uh, choose formula. The second choice is what we want to return one, two, and three. Okay. From our list of data. Now we want to summarize everything from a two, and then we want the result of this uh, to a uh, to 45 in the case of this, uh, sorry, 12 to be in the case of this. So this actually returns 80, right? Because we're summarizing um, a two down to uh, here, which would be basically 12 which returns 80, okay? So what we're doing here is basically using the choose function to determine where we are summarizing to. We're gonna sum between A2 and A4 in this particular example here. But if we were to change the choice to three, uh, again, it would expand the option all the way down to A5, 
as our result, we can press return and we get the additional value, the summarization of all of that data just there. So again, this is just one of those ways that you can use this function. It's not very dynamic in the way that it works, but it does get you across the line onto some very unique use cases. It can be useful for very certain reasons. And uh, this is quite a simple one to use. You can then wrap it up inside different functions like we have here for that sum equation. Um, guys, hopefully you have found this a very brief update on how to use the choose function and within Microsoft Excel. If you have found it useful, hit the like button. I do appreciate that. If you are new to the channel, then do go ahead and subscribe. I really appreciate that as well, guys. With this said, done and out of the way, I hope everyone has a fantastic day and I'll catch you all in the next one.